we're going to be talking about people pleasing, right? Um, people pleasing is a sticky one. Um, you're trying to satisfy the writing. You get an audition, you get the sides, and you really want to do it well. You want to honor the writing. You want to satisfy the casting director. You want them to like you. You want to please what they're expecting out of you. You want to satisfy your agent. You want them to like you. Um, you want to be how they would love you to be. Um, people pleasing can also happen, of course, with the casting director, the director, the other actors that you're acting with. Sometimes you want to please them, especially if there's, you know, a big actor next to you. Sometimes you will even catch yourself trying to please the extras who are in the scene and you want to make sure that they like you. Um, you want to please the producer. Basically, you might realize that sometimes you're really busy trying to please and satisfy everyone. And in life, too, you may be a lot of the time caught up in trying to satisfy your partner, people pleasing your partner. You may find that you're trying to please your friends, right? So it's it's an energy that is sticky because we were all raised to be good, to be a good boy, a good girl, and to be likable. And so um, when you're connecting with people, when you're in relationships, you are trying to please them. You are trying for them to like you because you have been educated to be good enough so that people will like you. You haven't been educated to be your true honest self. You have been educated to modify your emotions, your thinking, your behavior, your speech so that it would work for others, right? So inevitably, it's kind of the good thing to do to people, please, because everything in our culture wants you to be liked and you've been raised to be liked. You've been trained to be liked. So inevitably, that's your favorite activity is to people, please. And um, so it's 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 tricky because you're an artist and you're an actor. And even if you're an, another kind of artist, um, it doesn't work if you're trying to please right? It doesn't work because your art is about you. It's about your perspective. It's about your uniqueness. It's not about satisfying the audience. It's not about pleasing. It's not about being loved and being liked. It's really about, oh, what is my perspective on this? What is my point of view, my unique point of view, my unique take, my unique perspective? So, on one hand, you're raised to people please, and then you become an artist, and therefore on the other hand, you can't people please, right? So it's a little paradoxical, and you may have tried, uh, you may have felt the dissatisfaction of people pleasing when you're acting, when you're taping, and you're caught up in trying to do it right, and to be good, and to be liked, and you're caught into between 20 takes, and you can't choose which one is going to be the best one that they're going to like. So you you know how unsatisfying it is to be caught up into people-pleasing. But yeah, you've tried classes, you've tried stronger choices, you've tried to not worry about what they will think. You've tried maybe even learning your line so well that you'll be free and you won't need to think about the text or the author or the story and you'll just be yourself. So you've tried a lot of things and yet um, it's sticky and it still doesn't work because you've really been raised all your life to please. And so your wiring, your conditioning, your plumbing, your architecture has been built and trained and reinforced and being consolidated in order to please, right? So it's really sticky. So what's really happening that I want to be talking about so that we get some clarity over this is when you're people pleasing, when your attention is on satisfying others, your energy which is all you have, your your only energy, right? Every little piece of you, if we were down to looking at yourself at the, with a microscope, you're just little particles of energy. Your energy is outside of you. 
when I'm trying to please the casting director, the director, my agent, the other actor, the casting director's assistant, or the person who's helping me do my tape, my energy is outside of me. It's, I'm not with my energy. I'm not present. I'm not here. I'm there. Because I'm busy trying to manipulate the outcome. I'm busy trying for you to like me. And so if my energy is outside of me, I cannot be present. I cannot be here. I cannot be authentic. I cannot be free. I cannot be unique. I cannot be instinctive because I'm not here. I'm outside, busy, trying to manipulate the outcome. I'm delusionally busy with the future, with the next moment, with the outcome, with trying to book, with trying to be loved, with trying to be liked, with trying to please. I'm not here right now. I'm in the next moment, which doesn't exist, right? The only thing that exists is right now. So it's delusional to try it, but yet we do try it because we've been conditioned to do that. I'm in the next, thinking that I'm in the next moment, so my energy is nowhere. And I'm trying to manipulate that future outcome. So when you do that, when you're doing that again, You're trying to manipulate the outcome. You're trying to manipulate your audience, whether that's a casting director, whether it's a real audience in a movie, whether it's a director, whoever's watching, you're trying to manipulate them. And so I want your, I want to be good. I need to be a good person and a nice boy or a nice girl to confront what you're actually doing, which is you're trying to manipulate the people that you're saying you want to serve. You're trying to manipulate their opinion about you. You're actually not doing the right thing. You're not doing good work. You're not honoring the story or your character. You're not being of service right now in this moment to your character's needs because you're not here. You're trying to be in the future outcome and you're trying to manipulate that in order to be liked, in order to be good, in order to please, right? So I I want you guys to really see those two things. You have been raised to be good. You have been raised to please. So it's no wonder that you can catch yourself a lot of the time trying to be liked by others, trying to be loved by others, trying to be validated by others, trying to please others, whether it's, you know, in the, in your acting world and life, or whether it's in your private life, whether it's with your friends, with your relationship, with your parents, with a casting director, with an agent, most of the time your energy is outside of you. You're not with yourself. You're not present. You're not truly here. You're not authentic. You're not unique. You're not free. You're not here. You're not connected. You're not here. You're there trying to do something that doesn't exist. So it's completely delusional to try to please. It does not work. The whole purpose of art is for you to give us your unique perspective on a certain topic, whether it's on a canvas or in a movie, in a story, in a song, we want your take on it. We want your unique human's perspective, sensations, emotions, opinion about something. And when you're trying to please, you drop all of that which is inside of you and you go outside of you trying to play chess with everyone, trying to manipulate how we're going to think about you. And therefore, you're doing the opposite of your job, the opposite of what can be fulfilling for you, the opposite of what can be satisfying for the story, the opposite of what can move an audience. You're trying to manipulate the outcome. So what to do? What can you do? You've been trained to please. And the whole point of your art form is to not please, but to be exactly who you are And to be exactly what you are in the moment within those circumstances. 
So what there is to do is to do the opposite of what you're trying to do, which is to please, but to actually undo this conditioning that inevitably is pushing you into trying to satisfy and trying to please. Undo the conditioning that brought you here. The conditioning that brought you here is your education from your first day until school, until this culture, everything that you've been confronted to has asked you to people please. So the first thing to do is not to take another acting class that will tell you how to book because that's about pleasing too. It's really the opposite. It's about undoing all of that, undoing the conditioning that forces you into trying to please so that you can re recover your artist, your uniqueness, your voice, your perspective, your freedom, your authenticity, your integrity, right? Right under all of this conditioning that pressures you to please, there is you. There's only one of you. You're unique. And that's what we're looking for. That's what you're looking for. That's what the audience is looking for. That's the only way the audience can be moved. It's the only way a casting director can see you in your tape or in person is if you're actually there. And if you're pleasing, you're not there. You're delusionally busy with trying to manipulate the outcome, right? All right, so if this makes any sense, um, let us know in the comments. You can, of course, um, you know, um, that's the work we do. So if this makes sense for you, let us know. If you're interested, we can send you to some free resources. You can actually find them in the link in the bio and in the about section in Facebook. We have a free training called Stop Trying to Be a Good Actor so you have a, a chance of being great. And um, if you've done that already and you want more information or you want to be put on the wait list, let us know. Write us in the comments and we will um, get in touch with you. Ciao.